everyone and welcome back to Automation Empire. Fraz here as always and we might be in a little bit of a problem. I.e. this and for some reason the game got rid of all my drones. I don't know why but it has. We will work to fix that very shortly. We do have our re resource area going up here. So this, somebody mentioned something about that these wouldn't connect somewhere. Unless I fixed it in a previous episode. Let me just make sure these are all going the right way. That bit is there, which is not... Oh, well, you can worry for that. Okay, so we have this up and running. That is basically feeding to them. This is feeding to that, feeding to that. We do need to get our drones back. I don't know what happened with the game decided, oh, you don't need drones anymore, so we'll just get rid of them. Um, We're probably going to need to get rid of, like, two of these just to try and curb a little bit of the cash. And uh, I don't really want to get rid of these, but I'm probably going to need to. Just so we can bring ourselves back up. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this side just now. Means we can get rid of them at the moment. And rid of that. And rid of that. Yeah, so we're, we're just going to get rid of some of the redundant stuff at the moment. I know this is kind of taking away what we managed to accomplish but we do need to get this going right get back to work you guys come on I mean, what the heck was that all about there we go right one of you guys did mention in the comments is that apparently the game has a bit of a, a degrading effect in the fact that your money will start to like this will just ever increase which is I don't know if that's right, like your taxis will just continue to go up because it taxis and everything you've already shipped as well. So you have like almost like a time limit. I don't know if that's correct or not. Uh, I'll be interested to see if it is because that would be annoying if it is. But And obviously last time we got this built or started to be built. And we're going to then obviously make sure we get iron on the way. Because well we can. Alright, so that's them um, working away. And we've not enough power drone base. Right, well, we've got that going, and we did have this. We do have some research that we can now grab as well, which is good. So let's just grab some of this just now, and we can have a wee look at it. You're not getting anything right now, but let's see. So that gave us a lot of research, actually, there. Holy crap. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, we don't really need this up, really. Drones are maxed out. Let's see what goodies can we unlock here. We can unlock waterworks. No, we can't. That, uh, nope, none of that, none of that. We can unlock this, and then we can unlock that. No, wait, we can only unlock that once we've got... Ah, yes, that's what we're doing. We need to ship some iron in order to get some stuff. All right, let's see how this is going just now. Uh, current month's power and taxis, 58,000. Previous month's power and taxis, is that? So what we need to do is... Well, we need to get more of this, really. We need to bring this back in. And we... Ugh. That's a 41,000. Eee. That's uh, going to be tricky to try and counteract. But we should be able to. Should be able to. Get a few trucks out. Come on. Go. Trucks, you're like budging into each other. You need to like go. There we go. Right. Okay. So we're going to get these guys in. Right. And obviously we've got this kind of coming into the middle. Uh, or will we will have it coming into the middle. Actually, do I feel like we could do a little bit of reworking here? Because what we could do is have this stop here and then come the other way and have two drop off points for these. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, let's. Uh, so we get drop off point and we put a drop off point there, right? Yes. And then drop off point there and drop off point there. So, then what we will do is... Oh, well, we don't really want to get rid of everything. So... But we want this to kind of stop here. And then head back the other way. So that means they can then do that there. And then that one can go there. So it can actually start going the other way. All right, let's do this. Voila, okay, so now we're just gonna slowly but surely add in this. 
as they get that done. Because then that should bring them all to the, the middle area. Uh, along with all the, the trucks here. Which would be ideal. Obviously we need a little bit more of our cash, please. A little bit more cash, please. Alright, okie dokie. And then do that. Just want to get rid of that just now. And then we're going to do that, that, and that, and that. And then we'll do this. And then we will hook that up. There we go. Alright, so we got one down. And that's already going that way, so that's good. And that's going that way. So we'll need that one to go that way. What are you guys doing? Just pick up the damn boxes. And then we'll get rid of you. Whee! There we go. And basically it's meant to act as like it's going to force everything into that middle section. What we could do though is maybe give them a little bit of room. Just so they can actually move here. Maybe? Is that maybe too much room? Yeah, we'll give them like a two square. That should be enough. There we go. Right. Because that should also... I don't... Do these cost energy? I don't think they do. No, they don't. Okay, right. So, 51,000. We... Previous month revenue was that. And then... So, we didn't make any profit. We didn't make any profit. That could be a minor problem. Right. Get going, guys. All the, the used guys are hanging around with lots of that. And swarm it! <laughs> Alright, there we go. That's going to be making cash. We need to now make cash from this. As soon as possible. So, we need to... to I need to actually connect these all the way up, don't you? Right, so, that would need to at least be there. Which is annoying. But, what can we do? Right, so then we are going to need to do something very, very similar to coming out there. Also, one thing I have learned, actually. So see these? These use up a lot of electricity, right? 1600 a month. There's a way to circumvent this. So we're going to do a little bit of reworking. Basically, you can essentially have these pump out crates that then... Hmm, actually, though, because then they're going to bring those crates out to there and file them onto that. Huh. Because ideally what we want to do is use the empty crates. They'll go around, but then if they put them on that, then it gets... Hmm. Ah, no. Wait, I know. All right. So... We're going to do a little bit of reworking. Yes, definitely reworking. And ideally, what we want to do is we have one of these produce the crates for four of these. And then it, it circles around. But we need to do some reworking in order to make that. Because we're going to need to use a few main carts. Because we basically have it. It will empty out via these guys into one. Then uh, one of these guys will then. Because then what you'd have to do is you end up getting rid of three of these. Which, of course... Costing 30, uh, 1600 a month, you're going to be saving a lot in power. A lot in power. Because we already obviously see here, monthly power costs are costing that. But we can cut our power down drastically. So, first things first. Uh, we need to make, basically, redundant boxes, almost. That will... Right, so they come in and we don't want that filling that up. Alright guys, so we're going to get to work on basically breaking this factory apart to create something brand new. And basically we're going to make sure this comes away from this because this is going to be... We're going to need to change this up quite a wee bit in order for this to work. So, will we have enough money to make this work? We should have because we're going to be taking stuff away. And... I know we've got this, and it this works. Like, it does work. It does get you money and so on and so forth. But we can cut our power bill by a substantial amount because we could get rid of at least four of these, I think. Because I'm going to actually set up um, almost like a system where this is going to print out empty boxes that will go around. And then it will take it outside 
or maybe to the front here, actually, with the way this is going to work. So maybe it'll take it out to the front, and then it'll refill it into a different crate maker that will then, like, so we'll only need two of these out of the four, possibly. So what we're going to start doing is breaking one of these down. Now, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with this one. So we're going to take these guys away, right? Now, what I also want to do is I want to make that away and that away. And because we want to essentially run down the materials we've already factored in. This is... Is this going to stay? I wonder. Yes. I think what we're going to do is we're going to make this stay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put those two down. <laughs> because basically we're going to have this head along this way. Um, because we're going to have a crate maker producing this. So we're going to get rid of this just now and rid of that. Right, so we're going to let them run through. So we'll then produce that and get it out of the way. We are then going to... Do we want to put the crate... Because if we put the crate maker here... Yeah, that could work quite nicely, actually. Right, so we're just going to let that do its thing just now. So we're, so we're not losing resources. Alright, let's see. We then want to... Because we're going to put down a... Like a crate maker. So a crate maker is going to go down and it's going to create empty crates that will then go along and fill up. I'm wondering if we could fit it in there though. Because obviously, ideally, what we're going to do is take that and that away. And we're going to take you and you away. Take that and that and that and that and that away. There we go. That away. I'm going to stop you going to that just now. And we're going to get rid of that and that and that and that and that. There we go. Right, so that's doing its own thing. So then we're going to pause this up because we do have a little bit of cash we now have spare. So ideally, what we need to do is we want this to produce a crate. Because as you can see here, if we click this, it says very active crates. Now this didn't really click to me until I've been watching some stuff and looking around and everything. So you place in a crate maker, that's going to create empty crates that need to be filled in one way or another. So it could go past these two if it wishes. Now we could actually set up more of these if we wanted to. They don't cost anything, do they? So we can actually set up more of these if we wanted. Um, that's not gonna work. And then it would have more to fill, which is always good. But we wanna have, I think you can have one of these per like eight or 10 of these perhaps? But we need to watch, obviously, our monthly income. But I think what we could do is have two systems. Basically, we can have the two systems essentially set up like this that will lead to a fairly substantial income increase. I really wish I could sit that right on that line, but I can't. So it's going to need to be... It, you can actually delete this once it's done its thing. So you then wouldn't be using the 1600. You just need to get the line set up with the crates. So you're making stuff. We're going to just let them go, um, so we'll get rid of you, you, and you, and you, and you, and you, 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 right, there we go, and then we'll get rid of all this, rid of all this, rid of this, rid of this, rid of this, there we go, right, ideally we wanted to, I don't know if we're going to still use claw arms, to be honest, because it doesn't quite work out unless we do it, but we'll see, we'll see. So first things first, we want to create a little bit of a an area. Now we want to go in here and we want to get these guys. So these guys are going to need to take stuff in in order to work. So you want to make sure that it's after this. So ideally we're going to need to have them come along and then down, I think. Are they still making? They are still making. So get rid of you. Are we about to have another month of taxis come in, I bet you? Current month's revenue, current month's higher taxes. Right. You're now done. Good, good, good. Get rid of you. You know what? I'm not waiting around for that. Okay. Let's do this. Right, so basically, we need the crate maker to be on this side. It needs to be on this side regardless in some form. Because it needs to come past this. 
So we need to, you know, bring it round right past this and then it's going to fill up. So let's see. We then want to get with these. So we do that and that. So that's going to give us... So we're, we're not getting rid of any of our resources because obviously they are quite filled. But it means that the crate maker can fill them up. Which... Because what I've not clicked on is the crate maker will in fact... Oh, can that slide just in there? It can. Excellent, excellent. So we can actually do that. Uh, wait, no, that's not going to work, is it? No, it won't work that way. Because we don't have an arm to attach that to. Because the only way that would work is if you place it here, which I don't think we can do. No. All right, so... What we could do is place it here. Just for the time being, we can then do this. There we go. And we want to get rid of that. Wait, no, because then it's not at that side. Because it's going to be redundant. You're going to get you're going to get rid of it after a while. So it needs to. Uh, actually, we could actually just place it right in the inside, couldn't we? Because then this is basically then going to loop backwards. So we're going to then get rid of this because we want to make it nice and neat and compact. And we're then going to copy it over once we have it, that is. So we'll place that in there. And do we want to then come back along there? Hmm. Possibly? No, wait. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. We don't want to come back along there because we need it to go into these. No, we would, yeah, it would come back along there because then it would go into these. And then when they're empty, it'll look back around. I hope, anyway. So, we are then going to place... That could go here. So then, place that there, there, there. Nope, not there. And then... What we do is, can they actually put that straight into there? I don't think so, although we need it to be, yeah, we need that to be a space apart. Because that needs to go here. We can then place that oh, there, followed by a lovely one of these. There we go. And then we just carry on doing that, and I believe that should then, well, hopefully work. With any luck. Because uh, we won't do that. We then do to here. Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay. And then we go in here. And there goes all the money that we saved. <laughs> Because obviously you can basically have two of these to like one of these, but we're going to get rid of that eventually. And then we want to go into here and place these all the way along. Now I'm hoping that it will behave. So essentially once that's done, it will then pump them out. So it's obviously going to, you're going to have these on the other side, so all the way along. There we go. And then, just going to make sure that's done. This could completely be bad, but I've seen some stuff and this looks awesome. The way it works. And I've never really thought of... Tr not, I, I suppose it's not really a trick. You're more or less creating an, a, a, like an area where you can then put this into. So we'll set that up and then send the crates back around. So we would need it to be... Uh, so I would need to go that way. So obviously they're going to go that way. Up to here. So that's going to create that nice loop. Which is lovely. Lovely, mind you. 
And then, of course, they we want it to go back up that way, so they would need to come down that way. And then go this way. So they'll come back down that way. And then... I, I, I don't know, because I know there's this. You can do that, that it won't move unless it's filled. But that's probably not going to help us at this stage anyway. Because then we want it to go back up to there, which will then place a claw arm to put it back on. Maybe? Uh, da, 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 da. So then that will go around and then up. There should be enough in place to make this work. Because ideally what we... We may... Do we need two of these? I think we will need two of these just to make sure that we're keeping up with the production. So we'll do that and then you have the... Oh, no, 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 no. This one. There. So then that's got to do that. Unless we... Actually, we're probably better to use the smaller ones. Just for the simple fact of... This might not work otherwise. Um... I mean, it would work there. But if we had the smaller ones here... This needs to get out of my way. Get out of my way. Out of my way! Out of my way, fool! Come on! Out of the way! There we go. And the other one. Come on. Put it on. There we go. Get rid of that. And that. And that. And that. And that. Alright, pause before anything else happens. And then we're going to do this. Um, ooh, I kind of just want to... Have it there so it's nice and tucked in. And then you'll have this. And then that. And we'll do that, that, to that. If I put that one in, it's going to be one over. I mean, if as long as we make the same on that side, it'll look quite nice. Nice and pretty. Alright, so we've got all them facing the right way. They're all facing the right way. We do need to actually put one of these in so they can actually have something. Uh, I mean, if we put it there, it shouldn't grab empty coats, right? I don't know now. Right, all right so they shouldn't grab empty crates. I would hope not. Ah, no. No. I mean, once... No, that's not going to work, is it? No, it really wouldn't work. All right. Uh, we're going to need to get rid of you and you so you don't actually eat them. All right. So that's not going to work there. We need it to be on this side. We could... Can we find it there? No. I, I'm going to need to create some convoluted system to make that work, aren't I? To add it on. Because, like I said, you're going to make the crate maker and then it's going to be, like, make the crates and then it'll be done. There's going to be no stuff coming in. Uh, I mean, we could actually attach it in here and, like, it'll go along and it'll fill them up. And as it's going along, it'll then be there. So, yeah, you know what? We'll do that. So we're going to place it here. And then we're going to place you right next to it. Can that? No. And then we'll place you right there. And basically that's going to then create the ferry. And then they'll be going around. I know that's slightly off and slightly annoying me. But there's not much I can do about it. Uh, do, 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 do. Get rid of all this. Get rid of all this. Get rid of you just now. Alright. So essentially then what it happens is it... Wait, Pull the, the stuff in from the crates to here, and then you'll funnel that into another minecart. Which will, of course, go along and around. Can I then get that door? Is there a door even there? I don't know if there's a door even there. Well, there now is. And then that will take that outside. I hope, anyway. Because then you'll do that, to that, to that, to that, to that. So we'll then have that. And then... 
I mean, these only hold 40 crates worth. So you then want to create, where is it? I mean, this here. Do we want to still use the claw arms? Do the claw arms cost us anything? They don't seem to cost us anything. So, yeah, this is going to be a completely rework, but then we'll transfer this over to the other things. So, we need the crate maker to be outside in order to create the actual crates themselves. Because nothing, you can't ever have this going in and out. Like, that's the only thing. So, you need to find other ways to take things outside. So, if we were to then do that, just kind of double that up. Like so. We'll get rid of you, you and you, and all yous. Because then, oh, are well, these going to be too close to that, though? That's the only problem. Hmm, maybe. I might have to adjust this away slightly. Maybe, we'll see. Because then we'll have that, it'll then bring that in. Which will connect to this. Does that even work? I'm not entirely sure. There we go. What I do want to do is have like two of these per one of them. I think. Hmm, I mean, you could technically connect three up to them. Because these produce, how is it, one per three seconds. So as long as they have stuff coming in, they can actually produce a lot. A heck of a lot. And we, like, we can connect these all up. Uh, let's see, if I were to put you... Hmm... That's not going to really work, is it? No. Yeah, we need to get rid of these just now. Goodbye, dear trucks. It was nice knowing you. Right, so ideally what we want to do is we want to have like a free system set up here. So we're going to have basically three of these per one of these. And it needs to go here, right? Yeah, like that. We then need to connect that to there. We're going to put that there and that there. We're then going to put that to there, that to there, that there, and that there. Would that, that, that would work, wouldn't it? Although it needs to be one step over to make that work. To make it look, that's just more like to make it look nice. You know? So one there, one there, one there. And then we'll have that, we'll send it that way, send it that way, send it that way, send it that way, send it that way. We'll then bring that in. And there we go. And we don't want to connect these, I don't think, between each other. Or do we? Because mm. obviously they're going to fill up sort of thing. Now we need to, we need to put some cabling in. There we go. So then, what you then do is you have a melee. There you go. That should work. Should be in the keyword in that whole sentence. But, one, two, three, four. And let's begin the creation. Go! Come on, we can do this. Like, so, empty crate. And then another empty crate. That fills up. I'll just turn away. There we go. That gets picked up, put in. Another one will get picked up, of course. Ready to go in. You're going to be... Yeah. Right, okay, and... There we go. So then that fills up there. That's not quite ready, but it will be soon. So you can see here, and then that crate, what it's going to do is it's going to work its way back up there and get back into the flow. So there we go, that's that now filled. That will then go in there, and then that will produce the crate out that gets to delivered. Um, 
thingies. Go. There you go. Wasn't so hard now, was it? I'm gonna get rid of these ones. Get rid of this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Because I know that we've had to then come slightly forward. So then I'm just gonna pop that on that, and there we go. Once this starts to really get its, you know, because you can see here now it's getting to two. That's then going to grab one, but then it's got nowhere to go. So as this goes on, that will get there, but that's then obviously not filled up with its crates yet. Look at that. Look at that. It's so nice. Right, there we go. So what do you think is better, really? I mean, having a look at the electricity, let's see here. So current months... So revenue, previous, uh, electricity, it's about to go a new month, so let's see what happens when we go a new month. How much electricity we're going to be using here. Come on, come on, eat up all the money. Right, nope, there we go. So 41, still 41,000? Right, so monthly power cost 34,200. We probably don't need this many drones now. Well, there they all go. And then they're going to then fill that up. This still needs to be producing. Ah, wait a minute. That's what I've done wrong. These need to be connected to each other. <laughs> it makes more sense if they're all connected to each other, you know? And then that's actually going to get stuff out for them to fill with. So, let's see... That should now, so that'll go in there, it'll filter through, create the, because ideally that's going to create crates not as quickly as the drones are going to be getting them, I hope anyway. So grab one, grab one, there we go, so that's it, that truck's filled up in an instant. Right, so now that that is done, I don't think you need this anymore. As long as you don't, like, attach anything to it. Because these ones aren't getting used, though. That's the only problem. Are we, are we able to place another one of these down? Kind of curious if that... Oh, is that even a possibility? Is that? Like, I don't know if that's almost cheating. I mean, does that get rid of any of them at all? I am very curious if that's going to do that. And then we'll place that there and place that there because we could. No, oh, no, wait, 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 no, oh, no. Oh. that there and then we'll place that here wait a minute I keep putting that just too far back I mean does that how many could that say now I'm wondering if that can create extra crates like a, a finite amount of crates that we can then just have on the track so it's gonna then place one down yep oh they're all in twos! Look at that! So that's there, there, there. Don't place it there, place it in the next one. Excellent! Ah, oh, it's so pretty, it's going so well now. I feel like this needs a bit more space. That's the only problem. Ah, uh, because we do have an unload station and it's not really that large. Because that's putting one basically every spot, so that's actually... Oh, look at this. It's starting to go nice. Yes. All right. So, as you can see, now we've, we've only got this one this one. This one is essentially redundant because that will go away eventually. But you can see the difference this is making. So, now we need to do it to this side and say goodbye to all this eventually. Uh, let's see. Is that going well? It does appear to be going well. Excellent. Excellent. So, yeah, guys. I know we were going to get on with the iron and that, but I wanted to... Like, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think it looks better? I think it, it does 
take away a little bit of power usage. Like you can see our power is already down. Is that down? It is down, yes. So our power is already down in what we were doing. And obviously we've got less drones to concern about because I don't do they? Yeah, that cost a little bit a month. Um, we also only get two of these out of the four. We've got more of these, um, but they should start to pay for themselves once we have enough crates coming in. Because at the moment, we don't. So that's going to then go around there. I mean, that one's essentially a sort of redundant because it kind of puts it into the other ones. This, of course, again, is going to get the same treatment as this because then it will then create that sort of thing. We probably... Mm, I do feel like we possibly need to move this back like a square to give it a little bit more room. I'm going to do that just now. I'm going to like... Bye Mr. Truck. I'm going to give it like... Uh, four squares? I mean you could set up something really weird and have this almost like... Idiot. Oh no, they can't lift off of them. Never mind. Never mind. But what we can then do is then get our roads. I mean, where does that come from? That would come from there. So if we were to place that there, we can then have our entrance here. We'll set that up like that. That gives us four. Uh, can we have five? You know what? We'll have five. Right, so... We want to make sure that we'll get rid of you. So I don't want to delete that and then the trucks don't actually take the money out. Because that could be very, very bad for us. Right, you are away, get us the money, and there we go. Right, okay, and take that all away. And take this all the way along, we'll then have an exit. There, and put you there. And then we'll add you on. You on. Can I add another one on? Ooh. Hold on a second. If I put you... No, you won't go in that anymore. Okay, we will then have you here. You here. And drag you along. Put you on. You on. And you on. Alright. So now it should have the fact that then this waits. So the trucks will come in. Hopefully. This can't do anything else at the moment. But then that should start to... Because that should be creating much quicker than what they can gather it from. And obviously you see there's already ones there waiting. Bump, 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 bump. And away it goes. And of course, we're going to have more of these because you will be able to have more of these over here. And I think this is nearly caught up. That has got... I don't think that can actually get any more on that. I don't think it can. But then we're going to come over here and do the exact same thing. We then want to... Basically, we want to kind of cut that there. Cut that there. That using one, that, that's not making one. That's now done, so get rid of that and all this. And this, to get rid of this. There we go. Okay. Get rid of you, 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 you. Alright, well guys, I'm going to leave it there. We'll carry on. We'll finish this off in the next episode, and then we'll get our iron up and running. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.